Yes, yes. We're in the Z boat, Southwest 737A100, and we're flying from Missoula to Olympia. And uh, this is a brand new version of the Zebo. This is uh, 3.35 release version 14. So if you come over here to the EFB and you click on the question mark, 3.35.14. Brand new. This is my first flight with it. It's a little intimidating. <laughs> Monday's nearly over for you. Nearly 6 p.m. There you go. Relax and jump into TBM. Sounds like a great time. Monkey 2321. Good day. Sparker 256 is here. Nice to see you. How are you enjoying Twitch so far, Sparker? You probably um, probably been finding it uh, interesting, I'm sure. Uh, I got to because I forgot to copy over my camera views. I've got to redo my camera views. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a great way to live interact. Learning a lot. Yeah, it's fun. Um, I, the, I when I discovered Twitch back in twenty. 15 um as far as flight sim is concerned i i was it was just ever since then it's opened up a whole new world of of meeting people and you know making friendships building uh hours together in this fine hobby that we have and we've seen quite a uh quite a uh, renaissance period in flight sim as far as I'm concerned. Do you use better pushback? I do use better pushback, yeah. Do you use better pushback? It's probably the most uh, most used plug-in probably out of the numerous ones that I have. Good morning, Nightbird2335, back in the Zebo and I'm on Pilot Edge. Yes. Yep. The people who said the Zebo was no longer being developed were obviously wrong. I had heard a rumor like that, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know where they got that from. But. So, yeah. Could somebody please advise me how to get my SciTech work SciTech panels working with the Flight Factor A320? Uh, I would definitely go on the Discord and in the support channel on the John Fly channel and ask if anyone has any guidance for the uh, SciTech panels for the Flight Factor A320. I need to fly the new. I need to fly the new update. Um, of the 320 since I, I did that update like a week ago and uh, haven't uh, haven't flown it since the update and supposedly there's another nice update in the works okay there's throttle quadrant view all right and then we'll get an EFB view there we go all ready to go. Let's uh, connect the ground power. GPU connect. Come up here to the top. Battery on. Ground power on. Cabin utility EFES or IFE and passenger seat power on. We'll start our IRS alignment. Grab the GPS left, set IRS. Missoula, it's been a long time since I've flown out of Missoula. We were listening to Missoula on the intro to the stream. That was live ATC. 
pretty good pretty good stuff and we're going to Olympia I don't I don't I've don't think I've ever done this route before so it'll be it'll be quite fascinating check my fuel here uh, we got 16 in the block fuel so there's our gross weight reserves cost index of 25 and we're going westbound I won't put in my cruise altitude until I get a clearance two days until the new stick and throttle ooh oh baby you got the Thrustmaster Hotas right I didn't dream that you, that's what you got All right, let's come up here to Pilot Edge, connect. We are Southwest 572. Connected to Pilot Edge. There we go. There, there, Claret 66. Check out uh, Sparker right there, the SciTech panel. I would try to try try that, and then, um, but uh, again, maybe use the forums and the Discord for for some proper tech support, because in here it might be a little difficult to do all right so let's tune over to Clarence which is on ground point niner there's ground point nana So you are. How are you doing? Can I get the FS Economy auto login script? Thanks in advance. Uh, yeah, if you go to my Discord and do a search for FS Economy Plus on my Discord, do a search for FS Economy Plus. It'll bring up a link. It's one of the most requested plugins from the channel here for sure. You betcha. Hello, Viper, EKTV, Freight Dog, good day. All right, we're on here. Let's go ahead and file our flight plan. I'm going to do an ATIS. You're doing short hauls today. It's hot. Yeah. Bonjour, you Ubinator. I was planning for the Missoula 5 departure, but they've been actually departing um, the Diddly out of uh, Missoula so according to this um, ATIS we're using 8 and 12 so I'm gonna blink bring up the uh, Missoula airport diagram turn on some geo referencing so it says runway 8 and runway 12 so we'll be doing runway 12 so if we come over here and we do the SID the Diddly 5 is from runway 12. Perfect. All right, we're signed into the Pilot Edge website. We're going to file our flight plan. Uh, it's not the 700. It's uh, I tried to get the 700 going, but the uh, I had a problem with the um, AviTab. So this is the brand new Zebo. All right, so we're going IFR Southwest 572. It's a Boeing 738 Slant Lima. True airspeed. We're going KMSO to KOLM. And we're going to be cruising westbound at 32,000 feet. And.
We'll request the Diddley 5 MLP Transition J70 Seattle Victor 27 Humi. Alternate will be Seattle. Looks good. We'll pick up a clearance. UKV 1390, how are you? <laughs> Go swimming? Be nice. Never swam in the Mississippi before. Watch that pocket rock, pocket rock at video this morning. That looks sporty. Yeah, that's that that thing. That thing is a is definitely. It's definitely appropriately named. Let's put it that way. As soon as he checks in, I'll uh, pull the clearance. Okay. Okay, team zero six, North Carolina approach, Grand Isle, left runway two eight, left approach. Missoula ground, Southwest five seventy two, IFR Olympia. Southwest 572, Missoula Grand, clearly Olympia Airport, Diddley 5 depart, Sir Mullen Pass, VOR, then it's final. Climb via six, F maintain 14,000, expect level 32010 minutes after departure. Squawk 6101. Clear to Olympia, Diddley 5 departure, Mulan Pass transition, then it's final. Climb via the six, F maintain 14,000. And Squawk 6101, Southwest 572. Southwest 572, you were slightly broken on your back. Verify the uh, climb via six, except maintain one four thousand and squawk six one zero one. Yeah, climb via SID, except main fourteen thousand, squawk six one zero one, Southwest five seventy two. Southwest five seventy two, read back correct. All right, so we'll put in our squawk code down here. Six one zero one. And we're going to bug up our altitude of 14,000. We're going to climb via the, the Diddley 5 SID. We'll bug in while we're up here. 120 on the heading for now. And we'll put in a speed of 165. All right. So we are did file for 32. 2,000. Cruise winds. Two seven four at thirteen knots. Not too bad. Isodev. Minus 52, or sorry, temperature, minus 52, outside our temperature. All right, N1 limit, outside our temperature, plus 21, no D rate, tack, takeoff, flaps 5. CG of 24%, 4.38 on the trim. And V1 is 124, VR125, V2135. He loved the Top Gun soundtrack while he was doing both intentional and unintentional <laughs> aileron rolls. That was very true. They were, they were, there was definitely <laughs> a little bit of that.
All right, runway 12. Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. Departure. Diddly five. That's interesting. The Diddly five is runway 12, but here it's selecting runway three zero. Why is it selecting runway three zero when the diddly five is runway twelve? No, it is runway three zero, never mind. There's an obstacle on runway twelve. It's very fascinating how over here you've got an obstacle reference here for runway 12 but yet this departure procedure is for runway 30 and we're Ada says we're departing 8 and 12 oh okay I get it mm, no Yeah, I put Project Fly Flight Bot route is the Missoula 5 with the same transition. But then I heard them taking off via the Diddly. And um, I filed I filed Diddly, so he didn't change anything. But Diddly is definitely not for runway 1-2. Uh, but the wind is... I don't see any wind right now. One and two sold. Wow, that was quick. That was a quick sell, Tarb. Did did you see that I posted it in the forums with a advertisement of that this is a payware FBO? <laughs> that was a quick sell though. It's always a good and bad thing when it sells quickly, right? <laughs> good and bad. Alright, we'll just go we'll go with what we filed until we get something different. Okay, runway three zero. Uh, route, we're going to activate that. Um, click on RTE, Diddly 5, MLP. Then we're going to put in J70. And J70 all the, all the way to Seattle. Oh, you didn't realize it was a payware? Oh, no worries. No worries. We, we, we were looking at, you know, the ground crew fees. I think that's the best thing is just to let someone enjoy it. All right, J70 to Seattle. And then after Seattle, we're going to join Victor 27, to, which is rare that you do Victor 27 in a jet. Humey. Not rare, but. Alright, so there we go. And then after Humi. Hey, we'll, we'll figure out our arrival halfway there. I've seen where they'll buy dog FBO often just to flip, not knowing their dogs. That uh, could be $1 billion. Yeah. Uh, hello, Crash of Distal. Okay. Um. I think we're good. 
All right, let's uh, turn on the yaw damper. And we'll turn on the aft fuel pump and we'll get the APU going. Emergency exit lights. Contact San Francisco Tower. We got a subscribe. Uh, San Francisco Tower, United States, now six five miles to eight. Where has the time Where gone? Eight, San Francisco Tower, two eight left, clear to land, wind three four zero five. DB Vetter with the subscribe. Third. We got a subscribe. Thirty one months. Thirty one months from DB Vetter. 31 month streak. Where has the time gone, right? No. Can you fly Victor's above 180? We'll probably be below 180 at, at that point. Um, yeah, they're more J and Q airways, aren't they, up there, Admiral? We'll see where we are when we... I mean, that'll that's the last leg of our arrival into uh, Olympia. So, Okay. APU gens coming on. Hydraulics on the A side coming off. B side coming on. Window heat. Trim air on. Recirc fans to auto. Packs to auto. APU bleed. Flight altitude today is 32,000. Um, Olympia. Elevation is 208. Good morning, X19. Good morning, Puff. Oh, you're saying hello to a great dog, but hello anyway. Okay, let's do RTO. Flight director coming on, F, uh, captain side, then FO. United 1806, turn left on Abel, contact ground 121.8. Left on Abel and ground point 8, United 1806. I think we're ready for pushback. Disconnecting the GPU We're on the APU gens. Squawking. Let's push back. Ground a cockpit. Please show me where you want to go. Okay, two eight left. Yeah, at 1806 San Francisco ground, Roger, stay gate. Uh, we're just gonna park straight ahead for United 1806. Yeah, at 1806, Roger, taxi straight ahead to parking. Have a good day. Try to head to park in United States six, thank you. Ground a cockpit, please show me where you want to go. Ground a cockpit, tow is driving up. You guys are doing some steam tech support. There you go. We're in the beautiful City Hopper Southwest livery today. We got a subscribe. We got a subscribe. Uh, St. Wilfrick. We got a subscribe. St. Wilfrick 777 with the subscribe. Who? It's really like a much longer streak than that. But thank you for the support since the beginning, St. Wilfrick. Quietly lurking from room 132. There you go. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Set There's the, the, the cost. The, the students aren't back yet, though, right? Setting park break.
You're in 131. <laughs> FedEx Court, how are you? I'm doing well, yeah. So connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Yeah, we're just pushing right now. But I'm delaying engine start. Greetings from Portland. Did your first snack air flight this morning? Put a few dollars in the snack account. Thank you, Coast Pilot. Welcome to Snack Air. Oh, baby. There... There's a rather raucous lunch, rock, rock, raucous lunch going on in 131 currently. Man, B2's party animal. Why am I delaying engine start? Ah, just for the visuals. And our wheels up time is not is not ready. We're not ready for departure yet. Plus, Captain's going to have some breakfast. <laughs> the, <laughs> I meant to type 130, but joystick was in the way. <laughs> it's a great plane, Nightbird. Yeah. We'll see how this new update does. I never look at the changelog, it seems like. All right, we'll go packs off. Two. Starting number two. Adding fuel. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow, stand by. Okay, we'll start number one. Lots of travel for you, for you, Nightbird, coming up. Well, I wish you many hotel upgrades and wonderful meals on the road, on, on expense account, of course. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal will be on the left. We'll see you next time. Have a safe flight. Iowa Scotsman, how are you, sir? Okay, engine stabilizing. While that stabilizes, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my hydraulic pumps, turn on my probe heat. I'm also going to, um, yeah, it's stable. We can go engine gens, turn off the APU bleed, turn off the APU, and packs can come back to auto. Delta Hotel India, November, Delta India Hotel, November Fox, Trot, IFR cancellation received. Have a nice day. And we'll go flaps five.
Do I ever fly on VATSIM? I tried to load this, the VATSIM client and the Swift client, and man, that's a pain in the butt. I couldn't get any CSLs to work. Of course, I didn't try it super, super hard, but I was frustrated by it not being just plug and play ready to go. All right, we're going to ask for a taxi instruction. And um, San Antonio, St. Louis, Fort Lauderdale, MCO, I Wow, you really are going all over. Wow, like international as well as domestic. Can I be your personal assistant and go with you? I just said with you. Missoula Ground, Southwest 572, Terminal Taxi with X-Ray. Southwest 572, Missoula Ground, runway 30, taxi via Echo Alpha, cross runway 8. 30, Echo Alpha, cross runway 8, Southwest 572. It looks like Echo is straight ahead there. Hey, get out of my way, Beamer. <laughs> Beamers get blown away. No kidding. All right, here we're crossing uh, runway 8 at, uh, at Echo. And we're going to make a left turn on Alpha. down to Alpha. Oh, we're going to be a bit delayed. I've got an important phone call I just got to make. Just one second. Missoula ground, Southwest 572, a slight delay here at the end. Southwest 572, no problem. Thank you.
Okay, thank you guys. Uh, I'll switch over to tower 18-4. Uh, and departure on the diddly 5 is 124.9. All right, we'll spool up here to the end. Blank is beast, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, per FAA regulations, your cellular devices must be in the transmit airplane mode and it was wide open after the door is closed. <laughs> That's true. All right, I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna hold here for a second. I'm gonna come up to the top here and go landing lights on, strobe and steady, engines on continuous, we'll do ignitions on both, any collision light should have been on before. Alright, let's just make sure that this looks like it's doing the diddly five, so it's going three zero. So you climb on 2908 to cross Diddley at or above 7800, then on assigned route, the Mulan Pass transition. Okay. Auto throttle on. VNAV may or may not engage. Oh, it looks like it's engaging. Sweet. I am going to do 30 degree bank in the headings today. Missoula Tower, Southwest 572, uh, ready to go, short 30. Southwest 572, Missoula Tower, runway 30, cleared for takeoff, wind calm. 30, cleared for takeoff, Southwest 572. Sacramento ground, Gulf Street, November 313, November IFR to San Louis with the Yankee. Gulf Street, 313, November, uh, executive ground, on request, standby. 